Hello everyone. I'm not entirely sure what the title of this video will be, but I'm too quest deep in Valamore. I've barely paddled my toes into the Colosseum yet, but I'll be honest, Perilous Moons is the thing I've been most excited for. I'm not sure why, but it just has been. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm coming in here with some Barrows gear, a DFS, a Zombie Axe, and a DDS. That's it. I'm hoping we can be entirely self-sufficient in here. I'm going to stay here for like an hour or something and see how we get on. Still not sure what the Wormlands or the Lizards or the Cockatrice are for, but maybe we kill a couple and find out. I don't know what the best route is. We want to make the last one. This wants to be the last one, doesn't it? The Eclipse one. So that we can go from it straight to the room. That's a bit further away. Plus there's enemies there. So we want to do this one, then this one. So blue, red, orange is the order I'm thinking. We go down here, do that. We go back to the entrance and up to here, do that. Okay, so we want fishing supplies. We want uh, herb law supplies. And I guess we probably want the hunting supplies as well. Because I haven't figured out exactly which one is better yet. Uh, we will get ourselves a few of these. And that doesn't do anything. I don't know why I did that. We don't actually need the net. I don't know that we need the rope either. Or maybe the rope is for setting up these traps actually. Need a rope. Okay, yeah. So we figured out why to give you a rope. We will crush those up. Make some potions out of them. Only got two doses out of that one. I'm not sure why. Can we fill this up? Or more, uh... There we go. Interesting. So I guess it's a, like it's not always going to give you the same... Dose? I've had three doses and four doses made then. That's weird. I set up all these traps, but I can't see them anymore. So I don't know if they disappeared after time or when I walked away. Okay, got a few moss lizards. Gonna go ahead and cook those. Cooks into a lot of food, actually. I really want to know what the point in these things is. There's got to be a point. All I get is these bones. Yeah, there's literally nothing on the wiki about them. I feel like it's just some random bones, which just seems like the weirdest place to put a mob for absolutely no reason. But where's the uh shit? I was trying to get to a fishing spot. Is there no fishing spots in there? Oh, I guess they're all in this one. Okay. So we fish. And we want to actually try and catch them. Apparently I'm not very good at this. I swear it wasn't this hard before. Okay, we got a bunch of fish. Right, I'm kind of curious if we can tick these eat together somehow. Well, that way didn't work. And that way didn't work. Hmm. I don't know if one's better than the other, or if they're both the same, or... Maybe they're both the same and it's just different ways to get them in different rooms. That probably makes sense. Alright, I guess we want to go to this door. To be fair, I could have dropped some of this other shit and made room for more food, but it's all good. Don't think we'll need it. Wait, did I go the wrong way? <laughs> Still ain't got a fucking clue how to get around this place. Alright, first actual attempt at this since the, uh, the quest. Easy peasy. Already did it, mate. People might have the prayer on at the minute. Oh, I ain't done that one. Do we have to do it separate? I didn't realise that. I wish this thing restored run energy as well. Draw a cheeky spec in. Oh shit. So you just gotta dodge the icicles when they pop up. The slightly different patterns each time by the looks of things. Like they have two rotations. Maybe I don't need to pray here, I don't know. I know these guys are praying. Okay, so in this phase you wanna light the braziers as quick as possible, avoid the tornadoes, and they turn your run off, and they may drain it as well. But that doesn't matter if you don't have any. Almost there. There's Blue Moon down. Okay. Make a copper. Don't know why there's logs there. Don't know why there's a plank there or a steel spear. Maybe these guys are killing them or something. I don't really think we need more food. Let's just go on to the next one. We're good. Are we meant to stand on the board? Surely not. I don't understand this part. I'm not gonna lie. 
shit, I'm on the wrong side. I can't tell if we're supposed to be praying or not. It really annoys me that these, uh, you, that you can't move these things. They just show up over my, oh crap, I fucked up there. Are we meant to pop those? Oh, that's, that healed her, that healed her. You're not supposed to pop them, surely. I mean, prayer does not seem to be helping, so. And there's the second one down. So, which, which exit is it? Is it that one? No, it's the other one. Shall I just kill this, see what it drops? Because I ain't killed one yet. Oh, this is a moise. Silver ore. Oh. These just random, like, enemies for the sakes of enemies. I don't understand. I think I went the wrong way, but it's all good. Can I just get a couple more grubs? I swear the first time I called these was way easier. Maybe it was because I was in the quest. But also, you cook extra stuff though as well, don't you? So maybe I don't need to catch as many as I think. I'll stop. Let's see what we get out of that. Oh no, it doesn't give you extra ones, it just lets you cook two at once. I see. I see. Okay, we got more potions. Honestly, I feel like the meat's better, but I'm not sure why I feel like that. Maybe it's just because this thing annoys me when they go past even when you are looking at them. I guess it's just whether you want to get hunter XP or fishing XP probably. It's weird trying to figure out the purpose of everything. Gonna repot before I go in, get the DDS out. Should have had a cup of tea as well, but oh this one was the worst one, wasn't it? I don't remember why, I just remember hitting it. This bit's not too bad. I wonder if you could bring a ranged weapon and get attacks in during this phase. Oh, this one's the one I don't like. I think you just gotta click them as quick as you can basically. Hit them before they hit you. Why did my character pass over there? Oh, I'm done. Awesome. So that is the first one done. Maybe the enemies are there to get your reward potential up. Like in Barrow's scoreboard. Personal chest count, global chest count. Jeez, there's already been 30,000. 30,000 chests already globally, that's crazy. 8,453 deaths. Wait, can I not? Yeah, somebody else had opened it. At Lattle Dart and Sunkissed Bones. I have no idea what either of those are. I guess the bones are some, some sort of bone shards. Uh, I got some Harlander and Eerie as well. Is this going to be on a loot tracker? Don't look like it is. Okay. Can I go through here now? Alright, I guess we go again. Mm, that's the first one down. It's nice that they always teleport you back to one of these. Did it actually put me to the other area? It did. That's interesting. It took me straight to a new area. Okay. So uh, I'm going to get the rope. I think these are slightly better to catch than fish. Way less effort involved anyway. And they do multiply these ones, from what I remember. Lovely stuff. And where is the door? Okay, right over here. Got a full invent, ready to go. It's actually very quick to get from one boss to another once you're into a rotation. I should always remember to get a cup of tea before coming into a boss room. It's my biggest uh, failing so far. Wait, could I have used my DDS to break that faster? I never even thought about that. She took my active weapon, but I might have been able to use the dagger. I need to test that on the next run, if I remember. Man, it would have been so nice for me to have my whip. I got 85 Slayer yesterday, and I killed a lot. 806 Abyssal Demons. No whip. It was very frustrating. 512 is the actual drop rate, right? so I should have had a whip. I spent like 5 mil on runes. There's another one down. Quick copper. I think we're good for food, to be honest. Let's just go. Oh, we're in this mud. I don't really understand this bit. All I know is you hit the thing, because that's what everyone's doing. And so many times I keep clicking my way out of the safe spot, trying to attack, like that guy just did. I reckon if you... Maybe if you aim for the like the shadow, that might be the best way to do it. Obviously not when it's in the middle of a spec, because Yeah, if you if you aim at the shadow, I think that might be the optimal. Because it moves around a lot, you can miss and hit the Like that guy just did. If you point at the shadow, at his feet. It stays in a nearby place. I honestly don't understand this bit at all. 
Or do I heal when I hit it? I understand. You hit it because it heals you up. I get it. You constantly take damage in that phase and there's no avoiding it. But if you keep hitting the Jaguar, it heals your own HP. That makes sense. Okay, we got all three down again. Second chest. I suppose third technically, but I don't think the one for the quest was like the same as a normal chest. Unless it was, and I was just really unlucky with it. But it, it was garbage. Right, we got some more darts, some more bones. What? What's the point in these? There's got to be a use for these. Super compost. Like, surely they're not expecting this to count as an actual reward. I don't know. Kind of garbage. We'll go again. The experience is fun. I don't know about the rewards. Maybe it's just because I'm not getting any of the uniques, but like, I wouldn't expect them. Just seems like I'm not really getting much of anything. Like, random low, low level herbs doesn't seem great. Alright, third run. That makes it easier. I'm guessing those darts are used in one of the new weapons, or maybe somebody just threw them, I don't know. It's probably like some sort of blowpipe, isn't there? Nice quick kill there. On to the next one. Wait, is that not it? Is it there? Oh, I wanted to test the thing with the, uh, the dagger and the ice cube. Okay. Can we equip the DDS? Too cold to wield a weapon. That is an interesting thought. You really don't have to care about supplies either, because they're all free. <laughs> this is pretty chill. The main, the, it, like, it all depends on the rewards. Like, if the rewards are no good, then it doesn't matter how chill the experience is. Very small sample size, so... Trying not to judge just off the couple that I've done, but... It's quite quick as well, once you, uh... Sort of learn what you're doing. Damn it. Yeah, I, I now actually understand this phase. You hit the Jaguar, it heals you. Makes up for the damage that you take. Not fully, but... It's not like you can kill these, you're not trying to kill them, you're just getting your health back. Alright, third chest coming in hot. Ooh, that is actually a nice reward. That is a very interesting reward. 79 water orbs. I actually like that. I like that a lot. It's good for Iron Man crafting. A maple seed as well. So we're starting to see a little bit more of the loot table. You tend to get a lot of these bones. I'm guessing they'll be relevant for something, but... Oh shit, I did not mean to... Balls. Uh... I guess this stuff's in my inventory of the challenge. Oops, I'm just gonna go right back in. Do I think there's any benefit to killing these? Like, does it give you any extra reward potential or anything? Cause like, I can't see a score or anywhere that suggests that. Do they drop the same every time? Maybe it's just a way of getting silver. Drain your prayer as well, it's annoying. Iron? Do they just drop random all? F. I don't know why people keep moving. Don't think it does anything. Wait, does it? Does it actually stop you? I thought I understood that fully, but now I'm thinking maybe I don't. Hey, someone's there in ranged. I was wondering if you... Like, I was literally just thinking. I wonder if you can range these, or if you have to do melee, or mage them even. God damn it. So close. Wait, I think you actually don't take damage if you stood on the blood. But you have to stand at the right time. As it disappears. That's crazy. Okay, just got a few more supplies. Gonna get myself the hunting kit as well. It's probably enough because it cooks down. Yeah, look at that. So much made. Alright, is that the... No, it's that in it. You can sort of tell by the statues. Oh, this is a scary thing, because the statue's outside. You know. Just gonna use one stack on the spec on the blue lady. I don't think she's as worrying. Straight on into the next one. Now that you can't even click the attack, so you wouldn't be able to... I was thinking of bringing a ranged weapon in to try attacking during this portion, but you wouldn't be able to. Because there's not even an option for it. Okay, more water orbs, bless bone shards. Sunkiss bones, I think they grind into more bone shards or something. 
I still don't really know what the bone shards are for. Some sort of prayer activity. I think I'm just going to do one more. Then wrap up whatever the hell this video is. I guess like one hour of this is what it is. It's pretty chill. Since I've done five chests, I guess the first one must have counted. It just might have been a lower reward potential or something. Yeah, it's very chill. Like, you just hit the bosses and the mechanics aren't that difficult. There's free food and potions everywhere, so you don't have to spend any supplies whatsoever. I suppose Barrow's gear is going to degrade, which is a bit annoying, but maybe you could just bring in like a D-chain or something and be fine. Yeah, you don't want to move too early from them. Got to be like right as it disappears. This one's probably the longest one because it heals up itself more. I'm just going to go straight in. We do not need more food or anything. Okay, I'm just going to make one more potion. Or two, I guess. I think we're good for food. Okay, chest number five. Nothing new there, just some more of the steam. So, low level herbs, low level tree seeds, water orbs specifically, I haven't seen any other type, and lots of bones and bone shards. Uh, I don't know exactly what all of those resources are going to be used for, but bit of a mixed package so far on whether this loot is actually worth anything. Then there are the uniques, of course, but haven't seen one of those yet. No idea how many how many uh, chests you're going to have to loot to get one, never mind a full set. There's like three sets and then a different two-handed weapon. Oh, you get those from the sulfur thing. There's a one in 500. I see. So you don't get that from the chest. So the yellow spirits are there because you can kill them for a weapon. I don't know why you'd want that weapon necessarily. That's Perilous Moons! I'm going to be doing some more of it, obviously. But uh, there's so much to discover here on launch day. Still got two more quests to do. I think I'm going to go and work them out. And then maybe have a proper crack at the Coliseum. Because all I did was, was sniff it and then walk away. Hope you all are enjoying Valmore. Hit like and subscribe. And leave a comment down below. Let me know how you are enjoying it so far if you've played it all check out one of my other series if you're new around here got one hour limit locked going strong every day even in the midst of Valamore so keep your eyes peeled far if you've never seen it and yeah that's gonna be all from me on this particular one hour of perilous moons video and look after yourself be lovely to one another i will see you on the next one